Hello and welcome to part one of this quick introduction to the real-time recorder. First, let me install the package. Okay, now I've downloaded the real-time recorder package and let's have a look at what is in it. Maybe we should start by looking at the examples. There are three examples and the first you should be looking at is the building blocks. Please note that there are extensive PDF files, readmes for each of the examples and there's also something like a programming reference guide uh, that you may want to look at so it's really worth your time to have a look. Okay, so uh, what have we got? A couple of building blocks like children use for playing and uh, let's just hit play and see what happens. Okay, they fall to the ground and fall to the ground again. And then uh, this block's going to start moving over there. Yeah, and that's it. So what's this all about? Let's have a closer look. Okay, there's this uh, couple of blocks right here, every single one. Mm -hmm. And they all have um, box colliders and rigid bodies. However, currently they're turned off, but they're still falling down. Why is that? Because uh, their fall has been recorded. And then the movement of this block has also been recorded. It's controlled by this player recorder, which is currently in play mode. So if I don't say play and I start the simulation again, nothing will happen. They will just hover in midair. Okay, so uh, let's just um, see how this works. I'll duplicate one of those blocks and take it out of that list. And um, I will give it something called RC data file. That stands for real time recorder. Well, actually, for real composer, which is the whole suite data file. This data file is really just a container for data files which have to be in the resources folder. They have to be in the resources folder because otherwise that data will no longer be available at runtime, at standalone runtime. Uh, okay, there's the building blocks file, which is for the entire animation of those 13 blocks. And I'll just duplicate that for now because I will use it on this cube. Building blocks one. I don't care what it's called. So there. I don't have to set recursive because you see here at blocks, uh, recursive is set because all the children will be recorded also. Now in case of cube 14, there's not, no children to record, so I don't have to set recursive. I could, but it doesn't really matter. Now our player recorder could be playing an animation for this one block 14. Let me just move that out a little bit to, let's say, here. And now I want to do something with this one block, move around or something. Um, okay, so uh, the player recorder needs to know about it. So I say now I have two slots, not 21, two. And I will just drag the cube onto this slot. So now it knows about the data file. And I say record. And it's always recorded at runtime. So if I go into runtime, I can go to the scene grab this block and, I don't know, move it around whichever way I want and maybe uh, turn on gravity and it falls through the table because I forgot to turn on the box collider, which is fine. Okay, so that's done. And now we go to the player recorder and say play. And now, of course, I expect everything to play, so... Let's just play everything. 
but it just keeps hanging in the air because I was talking. Then I started moving it around through the wall, by the way, and then I turned on gravity and it disappeared into the floor. Okay, let's say I'm not happy with that. Let's just do that one more time. Uh, no, actually, I have to go here. Say I want to record this, but this time I'm going to play the other so I can interact with it if I want. But uh, Cube 14 will now not have any gravity. That's right, but I want it to have a box collider. All right. So let's just play this again. Remember, I'm recording. So if I move this around the scene... <laughs> Okay, good enough. So let's say this is what I wanted. And we can go back to play a recorder. Say I want to play this. Now the whole thing will play at the same time. It's as easy as that. That's really all it's about. You can record something in real time, any kind of motion. You can record complete animations, whatever you want. And it'll just play it for you. Thank you for watching this video and we will continue with the second example in the next video.